give thanks, give thanks, give thanks and praise as usual, always. We say in Congress, July 4th, 1776, this is the Declaration of Independence. This is from the mainland perspective. And I'm on say why freedom? Answer, because slavery is outlawed. Hence, you know, we advocate for the freedom we know is. And just like how I read a little bit of this information, we probably can share a little bit of the Declaration of Independence. Um, um, human rights, just like what we share the Declaration of Independence. But as usual, I like read it from my perspective, you know. What was that? In Congress, July 4th, 1776, it's uh, the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America. So the 13 United States uh, express them declaration. It's a when in the course of human events it become necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with, with it with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the cause which impels them to the separation. Now, these people say, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Hear that? We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. To secure these rights, governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, so that it, it required the consent of the people being governed. Without the consent, you can't try to govern no one here. It's a whenever any form of government become destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its power in such form as to them shall seem most likely to effect their safety and happiness. So when I'm on say I renounce it, my Jamaican citizenship. I simply I dissolve my political bond with this political community or organization. Simple. And we have that absolute right to do this thing. Remember, slavery is outlawed. This is why me I said these people are not supposed to come so they might try to compel us to do anything. What they do through coercion, threat, duress, and coercion with force and arms. Uh, without arms, then now go really try to, you know, enslave the man or woman. This is how simple, you know, this thing is for I. 
Ja, er dem kan gå through these kind of declaration of independence and, you know, choose to inform the eye themselves. God, these things, see it says 1776. This is why I'm like, show the documentation, not just talk, 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 but show the documentation. Yeah, man. It's a we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. To secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. So when you hear Jamaica government, and you hear we talk about the laws that are in place here, which is the constitution as amended by assent 2011. And within that construct, it assure you clearly say, the state has an obligation to respect and observe the human rights and freedoms of the people. Yeah, man, they must respect the inherent dignity. Yeah, man, of the people. And observe the fundamental rights and freedom that the people are entitled to naturally. This is why our advocacy is freedom, freedom many and freedom in. Yeah, man. Irrespective of whatever organizational construct we are choose for express, the advocacy is freedom, freedom in, freedom in. You can choose to express yourself freely. Yeah, man. Let me see if I can touch upon the um the declaration, universal declaration of human rights. God, these things are here, and we don't mind. I repeat it and repeat it and share other platforms where I repeat these things. So this is now what a 1948 document where them kind of probably that's a get influence from the 1776 instrument so it after the human the universal declaration of human rights udhr acronym is a milestone document in the history of human rights drafted by representatives with different legal and cultural backgrounds from all regions of the world. The declaration was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in Paris on the 10th of December, 1948. General Assembly Resolution 217A as a common standard of achievement for all people, all peoples, and all nations. <laughs> so you see, this is a document where we chose to bring forward and invoke. God, this is what you call a common standard for all peoples and all nations. Yeah, man. It set out for the first time fundamental human rights to be universally protected. And it has been translated into over 500 languages. The UDHR is widely recognized as having inspired and paved the way for the adoption of more than 70 
human rights treaties applies today on a permanent basis at global and regional levels, all containing references to it in their preambles. So even in our Jamaica constitution, in other chapter three, the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom is synonymous with this document. That's why they call it the Bill of Rights. And them say charter because that's the binding contract. This is binding upon all of these public servants. Yeah, whether elected or appointed. The preamble of this Declaration of Human Rights say, whereas recognition of the inherent dignity, you hear me always talk this way, the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Straight across the earth. But people choose to ignore these instruments. When our government chose to arbitrarily seize your property, kidnap you, and falsely imprison you, and under threat, duress, and coercion by force and arms, have your sign a monetary instrument as in a notice of recognizance meaning an instrument of value oh, that's money right there and that money i come from usually they accuse birth account Yeah, man. So, you know, when we are talking about freedom, and I like say, boy, it's some kind of illusionary thing. It's all about your point of view. This is why I'm saying I know I'm free. And I'm not the only one who's free. It's just that me choose to express myself that way. That's why I may use the term Nestorian king or sovereign or these things. You have to choose your narrative you know, and create your paradigm. Just like when we come forward and say we are not all Africans here. And we'll find and share all kind of information to that effect. Yeah, man. So the same way now, I'm going to say to the ones them say, boy, if we really look at it accordingly, then we are free. It's just that people are trying to enslave we on paper because without our consent, these people are supposed to stand down, but they will not. They will choose to imprison you. Yeah. And even unalive you for their financial gain. Because it's all business to the construct that is out there. It's structured that way as a business entity, as an enterprise. This is the focus. So we have to avoid the unnecessary distractions. Yeah, man. Uh, when we immature emotionally, then all kind of, you know, unnecessary verbiage will easily bring distraction. 
So ones are for focus on what is at hand, what we are dealing with, what we are talking about. Are we talking about freedom or are we are talking politics? Because if these politicians have nobody will delegate, no authority to them, they have to stand down and join the unemployment line. But as long as them have the populace, <laughs> you know what I mean? I worship them then. So in a case like this, you can't make no change to that system. What you have to do is extricate yourself from that system. Get out of her. Yeah, man, you have to choose to get out of her. Remove yourself from that construct. And you write on paper expressing that. Yeah, man, you get your certificate of fact to validate that kind of claim. And I'm nothing complex. It's just that the system at hand will always try to undermine you. Yeah, man, just check it on this island. What may I do? Who else? I make them step up. They said Jamaica get independence in 1962. And in 1962, when we get independence till now, we can look around and still ask a whole bunch of questions. If this place are turning into a commercial haven for foreign investors and foreign people for the local populace you know majority seem to be you know still a fair scramble yet we're supposed to get independence then them have a thing called maroon here we said them independent a long time or them get signed treaty from 1700 yet the island only just i get a purported independence in 1962 and now at 2024 we still a fiasa boy freedom because obviously i'm in court and if a man can arbitrarily abrogate infringe and abridge the laws that are in place in order for fleece or gain some kind of profit at my expense, then where is the freedom? Where is the justice? And where is the laws? Because we can't have a court administrative division or a supreme court of judicator where allow this kind of activity to perpetuate how complicity this is why we say it has to be in the RICO department you know all are complicit I'm just a neophyte beginner we're new to this thing we don't know nothing about these things so we have to look for the instrument that are you know already available and is in place and if you say the constitution is the law then we we'll look at that you understand and we can challenge from where it derive you understand and show me which part the most i creator ordain these things so we now have a problem i take it step by step and i walk the walk i show said you know, slavery is outlawed and it is a crime, a criminal offense to perpetuate slavery or to view man and woman as property. It is a crime. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a crime, my 
So this is why, you know, we're not even going to further than this. Just something for people to contemplate on. You understand? If slavery is outlawed, why do we have this mindset of being enslaved? Why are we afraid to express ourselves as being free? And when them challenge our freedom, then, you know, we, you know, we defend it. It's like I, I travel on the road in my private automobile and senior sergeant of police, A. Edwards, choose to make a legal determination and kidnap me, falsely arrest and imprison me and stole my property. And this is from last May. And one of the very first documents I present him with is a no trespass notice. And notice to this point, them can't say them get any bill or anything from me or any, you know, adverse kind of claim. And their whole process, which should have lasted no more than six months, is being drawn out going into 10 months. While I'm the one who is now obviously the victim, come me out of my property and it has cost me. Now I cost the state. The police officer comfortable in their, in their jobs and all of these things. You understand? So where is the justice? Yeah, man. This is why our advocacy of freedom can't be nothing else. Can't be about nothing else. It has to be about the freedom we know is here. And it's not just I free. When I look, I know everybody free, but you have to choose to express it. I can't express it for you. And each individual's view of freedom is different. So the enslavement to I is an illusion, people. However, the freedom to you people seems to be an illusion. I'm going to show you some document where I show you that this is how simple it is. Without consent, consent meaning some kind of agreement, some kind of contract. This is why them would threaten you and force you and coerce you with arms, all kind of armament for you to sign so they can make money off you. In my case, it's probably a couple hundred thousand dollars. You understand? Probably not even a just dollars like units. I you know that these credit system. So people have a focus on what is really going on. It's like when I look, I share information with the open borders. Open borders on the mainland. It's not just the mainland. Open borders over there in Britain. Open borders over there in Canada. Open borders all over the place. And I'm quite sure Jamaica here is no exception. Because when the foreign people come in, them just got blend amongst them foreign kind. And our government turn a blind eye to all of these things, especially when there's money at exchange. So we know what it is. But what can we do? We have to just know say, of the power of the most high creator and make all things happen now. Nothing happen just by chance. So all things have to happen for the good of the Most High Creator. Yeah, the God of nature. Yeah, man. So step by step out there, people. Stay focused, people. Stay focused, people. Avoid the distractions because it is demonic. It is many. 
And even I am not immune. So if I'm not focused, I'll be easily distracted. At the time where we're living, our information like, whoa. Information flowing like, whoa. All kind of information. However, ones have to focus on, you know, the job at hand. And it's like, you have to go through the gate and walk away. So I now have a problem and demonstrate, so, you know, man choose to be free. Yeah, man. It's a free will exercise, man. And it's an individual choice. It's never a group. You understand? Yeah. The individuals have to free up themselves and come together as a group of free people. And then true change, you know, may be had. If you create your own community and I interact within your own community and, I, you know, maintain your economics and your finance within your own community or other community where benefit you and your community then you are right separate and equal station what's wrong with that freedom why not why not <laughs> You know, so it's a brand new invasion I go on now. Yeah, but can you stop it? Can I stop it? I don't think so. Yeah, man, you have to just focus on it. And establish your house. So you don't need the house of representative or a delegate from the political community. To regulate you but that also is a free will exercise stay bold and brave stay firm and strong freedom free dominion free domain salute free people